Now, with Twilight, I know that the concept came to you in a dream. Right. How did this very unusual sci-fi adventure come to you? Um, I was on a road trip, and I was very bored. And I've always, we did that a lot when I was kid, when we were kids, and so I tell myself stories when I can't read. And uh, I can't read when I'm in a car because I get sick. So, and also because I was driving this time, and that would be really bad. But I was just letting my mind wander and kind of and, and I was in the middle of the story before I, I don't know what sparked it, but I was in the middle of this idea of these two characters stuck in one body and the conflict between them and then them both being in love with the same guy and that conflict. And I thought, you know, this has potential. Not every idea, like, can be a full novel, but this one completely could be. I didn't realize it was going to be that long even, but you could feel like it was a, a weighty subject that I could get a lot out of. Mm -hmm. I love it because it wasn't really a love triangle. It was more of a square. It was just like... <laughs> well, it started out as a love triangle. Mm -hmm. For me, it was going to be Wanderer and Melanie mm -hmm. and Jared. And there wasn't supposed to be this other char this mm -hmm. fourth character showing up to complicate matters. But that's always your favorite when you're writing Absolutely. and the character just kind of takes over. What I love so much about the story is that it wasn't your typical sci-fi adventure because it was also laced with very political undertones. And it wasn't very clear who is the antagonist. Can you kind of elaborate a little bit about that? Well, you know, I think that it's been done a lot. Aliens invade us all the time in fiction. And generally, your protagonist is a muscly, hot guy with a big gun who, you know, fights them off and then we win. Mm -hmm. um, and we blow up their mothership and everything's cool. And so I... It felt fresher to tell the story from the alien perspective. Mm -hmm. And then also, I mean, just kind of naturally, my aliens weren't gruesome, awful mm -hmm. bad guys who were going to eat us. They are kind of better than we are in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And they erased us, which is a pretty big deal. I mean, that's they do have this one huge thing that they've done that is very negative from our point of view. But everything else they do is better. Mm -hmm. and, and that, to me, is a more interesting question. What if the world would be better off without us? You know, what do we do then? Um, mm -hmm. and, that was, and that's fun to write about is when you have a question you don't really have an answer to. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Shersha's character, because she did portray so many you know, different spectrums of emotion, is very relatable, especially to women, because she's very tough, but also has compassion. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that scene um, where she's like, monsters, and she sees the souls and all that, and I think that also brings it up, like, who, who's the enemy here? Yeah. Very well, I mean, just in the context of what happens in the action of the book and in the movie, mm -hmm. the ones that are doing bad things are generally the humans. Mm -hmm. they're the, in, in the novel, it was fun, because they're the scary monsters. They're the ones that show up with weapons in their hands that you have to worry about your physical safety, where you don't have to with the aliens. They're a lot nicer. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think AMC audiences are going to enjoy this movie? Um, you know, there's a lot of different elements to this movie, and so I hope there's something for everybody. Um, I love a good fantasy world that's still so easily relatable to our own where you can see yourself in it. You can you could imagine, if I were stuck in this world, would I be an alien already? And then what would I be? And would I be one of these human survivors? And how would I, how would I do in a cave? I wouldn't do well. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to believe I would, but I'm not sure. I, would I don't know. You're pretty pretty. I, I think that, you know, you got to really be able to do the grunge. and I can no do the grunge, girl. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay if you, I'll take your word for it. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.